All right, here goes the induction heater after I've added the uh, water cooling tubes. Just got a little cup of water right there. Uh, just kind of cleaned it up a tiny little bit, and then I added the feedback. So really, I just uh, I noticed I had this 1500 to 1 current transformer. You can't really see it. This is just another pull from some industrial device. But anyway, I'm just using that as a CT, and that's just got about 10 ohms across it, and that's just going straight to the feed bag, right? Uh, so I think that takes about 30-some volts to kick in. So go ahead and run that. Actually, I've just got this uh, socket in there. Just going to see how that goes. 23 volts or so. You see I'm actually only at uh, 49 kilohertz or so weird duty cycle that's just the VCO and when I up the voltage enough then let's see let's see at a certain point it's gonna uh, shift over so now we've shifted over to the feedback which is about 64 or so kilohertz and slightly adjust that uh, with the pot here so now we're at uh, 34 volts and I'm just going to keep going up to, let's see, I'll do about 56 amps, that's about 300 watts and that's what I'm going to be uh, running into this guy. Well let's see, I'll do 55, 350 watts since this is basically like an 800 watt or something supply and then see how that runs so again uh, it's nothing close to a really full power so I don't see how that's going to get hot very fast I can already smell it water cooling Let's see, it seems to be working Just got sort of a bootleg cooling block that I just ran some uh, more pipe through a heat sink like that and I'm just going <laughs> to use that for now. And it's going down now. Actually, yeah, I, I can see it heating up. Going down, going down. So the way that works, you know, it kind of slightly depends on how I've got this thing tuned. Um, I just kind of adjusted the uh, the VCO on here to uh, get what I think is a, a, a better looking waveform than what I had before, but that's pretty much it. So that thing is getting dang hot right now and we're already down to 270 some watts, right? So that wasn't uh, immediate or anything, but that's not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off just to see if this little water cooling, yeah, so uh, just this bootleg water cooling set up. It's actually, you know, it's still cold. Copper hasn't uh, gotten really hot. But, the, you know, the true test there is with no load in there at all. So all you're really doing is heating up the copper. Uh, but it still seemed to hold up all right. So another thing that I thought was kind of cool was this, uh, this particular setup does heat up just aluminum by itself pretty damn quick. Uh, if I hold like an aluminum heat sink in there, you know, it only takes a few seconds before it starts getting so hot that feel like I can't really hold it no more uh, so that's pretty cool but yeah a, a, uh, just a you know gigantic CT like that seems to work fine you know honestly this is a uh, I, I really didn't think it would work all that great 